Welcome folks, Jason here to show you some smashing, tweaking, stacking, hacking, twisting, warping way to make your type go boom. Super fast, super cool, amaze balls. Check it out. So I've set my type. This font is Rockwell. This one is Ainsdale. Fat Frank Heavy, what an awesome name for a typeface. Factoria Ultra and Bungie Regular. All great names. Pick your color, set your type. I'm just going to duplicate this over here so we can see what it's going to look like after we're done. So get your type, boom, you want to fit it into something that looks like a bomb. Draw a circle. Any shape, any size, any color, any fill, any stroke makes no different. Make sure this is in front, object, arrange, bring to front. Select your shape, select your type, Object, envelope distort, make with top object, boom, right there, yeah, the warp. Okay, let's check this out. There's my type, object, envelope distort, make with mesh. How many rows and how many columns would you like to divide your type up into? Rows and columns, click the preview, creates a grid structure right there. Each and every one of these points in this grid structure is editable with your direct selection tool. I'm going to take the direct selection tool and move over the second set here and use my right arrow to move all those points over. Select the next set from the bottom, skipping the middle set there, and use my right or left arrow to go in, warp it, done. You want to go ahead and tweak your font any way that you want to tweak it? Object, Envelope Distort, make with Warp. Warp. You have all these different styles of Warp. Okay, choose whatever it is that you want. Rise, Bulge, Arc, Inflate, Twist, Squeeze, Fisheye. Choose whichever one you want. Choose how you'd like to bend this, vertically or horizontally. Get really crazy here. And there you go and tweak it. Then you can control your horizontal distortion. Fat at one end, fat at the other. Vertical distortion, kind of tweak it that way. There it is. All these opportunities, all these possibilities. Okay, boom, it's tweaked. Stack hack, what is this? Oh my gosh, you got a shape, you wanna stack it in there. But this shape is irregular. Okay, what does it look like? Well, I've got my rectangle, there it is. Okay, any shape, any size, any color. We're gonna grab our knife tool. It's sitting in the eraser and the scissor tool. Grab your knife, run with it. With that knife, I'm just gonna slice right across my container. There it is, two pieces. One right there, one right there, awesome. Select your type, select your shape. That type goes in that shape. How? Object, envelope distort, make with top object, boom. Select your other shape, shift, click, select your last type, object, envelope distort, make with top object, there it is. There's your stack hack going right together, even better. Grab your direct selection tool, the letter A. You can change that shape and you can control that shape so that you can make that type fit in any shape that you'd like. Just by selecting that point, changing that, pulling that shape, and editing that. There it is. There's your stack hack. Beautiful. Stack that right together. Your twist. How do you start at one end? Twist it to another. Simple. Select your type. Effect. Distort and transform free to distort. There's your twist. Grab any handle. Select this. Twist it down. Move this up. There's my twist. Want it fatter at one end, bigger on one, smaller on the other. Done. Boom. There's your twist. Take that all. Scale that all down. Put that all in there. And look at that. There is some seriously cool type hacks that you can do in Illustrator. Your boom, warp, tweak, stack, hack, twist, all right there. Check out my other videos.